you are a servant of God, when you are experiencing something, you must also experience it. So, my mom must not be shocked, really. <laughs> You know, I'm prophesying this to my mama said, hey, I'm shocked. <laughs> but Jesus loves you, mama. Mm. But you've got Jesus. enemies. Mm. I don't want you people to, to think about this woman a lot. Mm. Uh, someone, wait, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave it. Let's leave it. Professor, I mean, of course. Professor. No, no, no. <laughs> God loves you. <laughs> Let me pray for you. You will see that your coming here will bring a lot of changes in your family. Mm -hmm. Jesus, right now. Jesus, name. This man is a sin. Mm -hmm. Well done. It's true. You can sing this. Can you believe you can sing? Mm -hmm. How long have you been singing? Ah, uh, well, I sing when I was young from church. Mm. I used to be an SDA. And then that's when we saw that I uh, sabbat also. Mm. <laughs> then we went to AFM. Eh? Yes, that's AFM. Right. AFM, AFM eh? From AFM now we went to, and now with Prophet Cedric in Kopo. Mm -hmm. Jesus' name. So you, your daughter passed on? 2010, first born. It was mysterious, the death was just mysterious. Jesus. Hey. Uh, you know, when I tell you this, man, I'm just here, death, and death, and death. This, these are the people uh, that are killing each other in the family. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. I can't stop the spirit of death. Amen. Upon your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. I'm here at Charis Church with my wife, Ndombizo Moyo. We come from Zimbabwe, but are based in Botswana, Khaburone. We came here because of challenges, issues in life, such as the fights that happen with the uh, altars that are working against us, and uh, you know family issues that are causing us just to have stagnation in the family our children are not progressing as they should and we have come here and we hope god is going to deliver us in fact we believe we're already delivered in jesus name uh, yeah it's like uh, 
where we stay at our home in Lovewe 5 in Zimbabwe. Uh, we actually, this house, my, my brother's wife was the first one to stay in that house. And I believe that she made altars there because she is a kind of woman who didn't want us to be family. Even our children and her children, they don't see eye to eye, yet they are all moyos. So this woman has actually tried to separate us and we believe she built an altar there in the family home because she was the first person to stay there. And now our things were just stagnant. We needed 10 times effort to do anything. Yeah. At times there were owls that we could find in the chimney and such, a, such that people thought that my mother was a witch because the funny thing is that they will see, yet we, we, we feel we know the person who is who's behind all this. But we believe that God reveals to redeem. So we believe it's going to be a thing of the past since we are here in the holy ground and we will go back different people in Jesus' name. Jesus of Nazareth. Amen. If you are sick, Jesus will heal you. Like this one. It's been long now. Did you check sugar diabetes? No. And high blood? They gave me one soft injection as if I take it. Because it was going up. So now it's even affecting your eyes now. Yes. You can't see. Yeah, my even I'm living with these glasses. We pray for you. But I try hard not to use them all the time. We pray for you. Jesus will heal you. It's your wife. Jesus will heal you. Where is your son? I have two sons. One is in Dubai. Where is the first one? The first one is in Namibia. Mm. You need to pray for him. Eh? You need to pray for him. The young man is struggling. Very sick. Yes, I am right now. My tongue. You're inside. Yeah, yesterday I threw up a lot. Mm -hmm. Even me, I, I still feel something. Oh. Like I feel like God. Mm -hmm. but... We pray for you, Jesus will heal you. Yeah. And what happened to the land in Zimbabwe? The land? Mm. Is it the land or the house? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the land where you wanted to build a house. Did you agree with him? Actually, I brought the mother, who is my aunt, to stay. Then the aunt called the cousin to come and stay. I couldn't remove him because <laughs> he is the son of my aunt. So. You are about to have come. Mm -hmm. You are about to have come. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I don't know you, isn't it? Yes, that's true. Huh? Yes. And whose land did he build on? Huh? Mama? Our land. And what did I say? What happened to the land? Mm. Is it not what I said? Yes. Mm. That's oh. what I said. I'm sure that's what I said. Yeah, that's yeah? Is it what I said? I said what happened to the land? You are going to you. You are supposed to die now. Hmm. Because of the land. Mm. Mm. Let's leave it. When you want to say let's leave it in Zimbabwe, in, 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 in Shona, you say what? Mm. You say what? Asiguegele. Asiguegele. That's what I'm trying to tell you people. Asiguegele, because 
both of you, you are sick. And you, you've got something moving in your stomach now. Mm. And what is causing all these things on both of you? Mm. Mm. Yeah, you say, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So you are just, you know what is what is happening? They are just thinking they are sick, but they cannot think the reason of the problem. Who can build on a land that does not belong to them? Who does that? And if I build a house on a land that is not mine, I'm literally saying this is my land. And now, if you come and claim the land, you must die. Mm. Mm. I have to make sure that I kill you. Mm. I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. Mm. I'm telling you. Mm. So now, how are you going to ask him? Because you people, I don't know you, right? Yes. Do I know you? Mm. I don't know you. At one time, and I offered him to sell him the land. Mm. Did he, did he, he buy it? He pulled it. He said it's too much. I just charged him as a cousin, 500 US dollars. How less is that? <laughs> Maybe you must sell the land to me now. <laughs> I buy it. I'll be only a land in Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can deliver people outside the US dollars. Maybe for the agent even ask for permission to build for us. Can you hear that? Mm. Mm. Yet we had asked the aunt. The blame is I blame my aunt, but what can I do? She's my aunt. I failed. What can you are, I do? You are very soft. You are going to die for nothing. I'm just trying to take you back and show you why you people you are sick now. And why all of you there are things here inside the stomach. I can tell you that even now, this one. She was feeling like she can fall. So it's just the grace of God that has been saving you. So I believe we'll pray for you and Jesus will heal you. But this issue of the, the, this land and this house, it's a problem. And you are not going to get it back. We forget about it. Huh? We forget do you want it, do you want it back? <laughs> you want it back? But how do you build on a land that is not yours? I was him I could pay him up and say the five hundred you refused to give me when I offered. Here is the five hundred. Go and build somewhere. somewhere. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking of. Mm. Here's the 500 that you refuse to give me. Take it. Then you go and build some. I don't know the altars that he has met, but mm. <laughs> he has built altars, maybe. So maybe it's best to. I'll hear from you what to do. Mm, I'll uh, tell you. Yes. I'll tell you. Don't worry. Jesus will help. As long as you trust him. As long as you trust him. But the girl also, this one, she wants to study somewhere. It's like you want to study abroad. She must just believe that God can do it. As long as you believe it, God can do it for you. But let's leave it, I'll speak with her nicely. And I see she's too small. Hey, I'm, I'm just worried that our people, to be honest with you, they die for now. Yeah. Die for now. People kill people for now. So we pray for you. Jesus will help. God will help. Sister. Where is your partner? What happened? Who killed him? Are you not sick? Are you sure? Can I show you that you are sick? <laughs> yeah. You, 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 you are, 
facing a lot of trouble. Even now, the issue of the job. No? It's not only the issue of the partner that passed on. The issue of the job also is another stress for you. No? It means like you want to leave also. Where do you want to go? Because you will not be in an environment where you are not happy. So I'm sure Jesus will deliver you. And where is the child? God must help you. I'm, I'm sure after I pray for you today, you remember the issue of buying a house. God will, will help you. God will help you. Many of you, God is delivering you even before you come here. Like you people, even this one. Rani Stamma. Huh? Your demons, they are afraid. They are, they are afraid of coming. I think you people, do I know you? I don't know you. I feel like I know you. You have never come here? I came here in 2019 crossroads. Only for a crossover. With your wife. Oh. Are they the members of your church? Or you just know they them? Are they are pastors and they are my friends. They are pastors and your friends? Yes, uh, I know them. We met but here. Myself, I used to come here. Yes. Yeah, it's time. I feel like one of you, even the lady. I feel like yeah, she came here once, but no, as for me, I came here several times. And you are doing business? I don't have a business. I'm still working and, hmm? and uh, I'm not having a business. Mm, don't, don't do a business. Even cows. Cows? Mm. I'm having a cattle cows. Mm. I shouldn't do them. <laughs> 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 this cows knows a, it's not a business. Are you not selling them? <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like I'm your friend. I know you. <laughs> you know. So this is to show you Jesus is your friend. Mm. You know, one day Jesus saw uh, Nathaniel under a tree. He said, "There comes a true Israelite." So he asked himself, "How does this man know me like this?" <laughs> so you see what I said to you. Uh, don't do business. You see? I said, no, I don't do this. I said, even cows. <laughs> so, no, I once, I once came here with a, a, after registering a company. And then a prophet, Apostle told me that you, 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 are, you shouldn't do any business. And now I'm telling you. Now you are telling me. And I was not there, is it? He wasn't there. Oh. <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. And I'm telling him that even cows, because yeah. the plan is to sell them in the future. Okay. You know, uh, I believe uh, sometimes when you're in the ministry, people they don't understand what is ministry. Some pastors they want to do business because there's no support, not because they want to do it. There's no support. They feel like if they do business, they will be able to focus nicely on the issues of the ministry. But the truth is that the business, if you are truly called, it can affect you. Your prayer, you know, you find now your prayer life, when the business is not doing well, you are also affected spiritually. So there's a lot of things that are going on. But you can have cows, there's no problem. The problem will start when you want to 
use the same issue of cows. We also have cows here, but we don't do business with them. So you're going to have those cows. I believe let's allow things to happen at the right time. If now prophecies say no business now, you focus on those cows, you don't do business. Maybe one day God will say, now you can sell. It can happen. You understand? God is a God of direction, isn't it? When He say not, not business, meaning no business. But that does not mean we must not have, you know, these things, cows, goats. We have them here, down there. But there's no business. We're not doing business. So, but I'm sure even you, there will be a door that can be open at the right time. I'm sure you hear, you hear that. The only thing that we're going to focus now is the ministry. Pray for you. I'm sure Jesus will help you. Amen. Jesus will help. Where is the buggy? My buggy. Mm. It's a home. You need to pray. You need to pray because I was, I was speaking with him. hearing accident, accident. I, I once have an accident with it. Yes. You need to pray. When I'm seeing this, speaking about these cows, I'm seeing a bike here. I'm hearing accident, accident. We need to pray for you to avoid that. I'm sure God has got a plan with your life. Your life must not be cut short before time. You had an accident, but the one that will come will take your life. Because sometimes when you're doing the work of God, you don't know that you are making many people to be angry. So I believe Jesus will set you free, both you and your wife. You need to support your husband in the issues of the ministry. You need to support him more to understand more of the vision of the church. And this will help you. You hear me? The people will be praying, Mama, where is your child? They went for sports. With who? What happened to your father? Where is your father? Okay. Can we start? When you come there, I'm only going to take one minute. I'm not Jesus. You hear that? I'm not Jesus. I'm, I'm, I'm just a person like you. As I was telling you, let's bring back Jesus. Let him be the center of our issues. Can we go to the office? I think there's a wind here. Huh? I think it will be good to go to the office. Tell them to open them. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you? Jesus will help you. Don't help you. Because you see, since I sit here, I've been telling you your issues, telling you this, telling you that. Uh, this is to tell you that God knows you. And those that are also believing in us, I'm sure you people will also become like us very soon. And this one, even this one. God will give you the grace of doing what we are doing. No more limitation. You hear me? No, no more limitation. So now, after I see you tomorrow, there's still another one on one. And that's why I won't take time. Because if there's two one on one, that's a lot of grace for you. <laughs> uh, one minute, one minute. <laughs> when we we're being addressed as a group, the man of God addressed me and asked, What happened to the land? I was a bit confused there. Because me, I was thinking of the house that you sold. I said, is this the land of the house? Then I remembered that there is a land that I'd asked my aunt to stay in. Then my aunt later brought her son and left her son there and went back to her place. And that son has been there for long now and he has built. At one time I intended to sell him that land, but then he thought $500 was too much, so I said, no, let me leave it. Then at a later stage, he wanted to say, I want to buy it. Then I said, isn't it you refused? Now what I'll do is I'll give you that 500 back. 
and then you give me my land back. Yeah, so ah, now the man of God has spotted that some of my problems could be emanating from that issue of land. And I know once it's discovered like this, it's going to be a thing of the past. From the from where we were, where we started with the servant of God, we, we proceeded to one on one, where he mentioned uh, the country where our son is, we, our last born is in Dubai. So that really shocked me that the Spirit of God revealed to him that we have a son in Dubai. He, he said he sees problems there concerning papers. And we attested to that, that way he is, he is not happy. I also would like to add that it is mainly about the land issue. That's why we are being, given, we are being attacked and given sicknesses because it is a life-threatening thing that our lives are in danger. It is by the grace of God that we are alive to this stage. That's what the man of God said. Mm, actually, our son, a few months back, he has been complaining uh, about the ill treatment at the company where he is working. He says he's not happy. They are underpaying him and they, they are making them work, I can say, even as slaves. So now he's looking for another job. But that company, it's like it pointed, it made it clear that if he wants to move, he has to pay two months salary. Because that the company where he's working now is the, they are the ones who made him get papers in Dubai. So he's not happy, but we believe God will set him free from that bondage. Yes. I'll also add that there's our other son in Namibia, whom he said we must pray for, because he's under serious attack. Nothing of his is moving as well. That is our eldest son who is in Namibia. Yes, I believe that since we are here, it is well in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> With me, I can say I, I, I feel really? much better because <laughs> the pain that I had. Actually, yesterday as we were coming here, I, I had an attack. Before we even reached this place, I had a problem with my, my stomach. I had a, a, a piercing pain in the chest. I even failed to have a meal last night in such a way that I even threw up. So after being touched by the man of God, I feel it has subsided, the pain that I had. Even me. Thank you, Jesus. This pain is like we have the same problem. But I had a running stomach last night, and I believe it was removing all the poisons. And after the man of God touched me, now I'm feeling much relieved in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. The words of encourage are that if you have a problem, you have to run to God. Don't run away from God. Because everything in this world was made by God. Healing is from God. Everything, God is our provider, our healer, our blesser. So we should always be with God all the time. Yeah, man.